Hello and welcome to another video on computer networking. In this video, I will explain about networking devices. Now, equipment can be divided into two types: end user device and network device. End user device include computer, printer, scanner, and other devices that provide services directly to the user. Network device include all devices that connect the end user devices to allow them to communicate. Now some of the network devices we will discuss here. One is one of them is repeater. Repeater are network device that exists at layer one in physical layer of the OSI reference model. Data is transformed into either electrical or light pulses that pass along the networking medium. These pulses are called signal. We call these pulses are called signals. Electrical signal in copper wire and light it will be in the fiber optic cables. When signals leave a transmitting station, they are clean and easily recognizable. However, the longer the cable link, the weaker and more deteriorated the signal become as they pass along the network medium. The purpose of a repeater is to regenerate in real time network signal at the bit level. Bit level means 0 and 1 level, allowing them to travel to longer distance on the medium. This is a repeater. Another device, network, networking device is hub. The purpose of hub is to regenerate in real time network signal. The characteristics of hub are similar to those of the repeater. Some of the characteristics are similar to similar to this of a repeater. The hub is a common network connection point for a device in a network. Hub commonly connects segment of a lane. It connects segment of lane, big lane. A hub contains multiple ports. When a packet arrives at one port, it is copied to other port so that all the lane segment can see all the packets. Hub 2 broadcast which increase a load on network. It is the disadvantage of the hub. It create broadcast and it decrease and it increase load on the network. Because hub and repeater have similar characteristics, a hub is also called a multi-port repeater because we don't have a port in the repeater but we have many ports in the hub so it's also called multi-port repeater. The difference between a repeater and a hub is the number of the number of cables that connect to the device. Whereas a repeater typically has only two ports. In a repeater we have two ports. One one is here and one is here. A hub generally has from four to twenty or more ports. We have from four to twenty ports. Whereas a repeater receive on one port and repeat on the other port. A hub receive on one port and transmit on all the other port. This is another difference. The repeater receive on one port and transmit on the other port, but a hub receive on one port and transmit on all of the other port, whether it is four ports hub or twenty port hub, it, it transmit on all of them. The following are the most important properties of hub. Hub amplifies signal, signal amplifier, hub propagates signal through the network, hub do not require filtering, they do not require filtering, hub do not require path determination or switching, hub are used as a network concentration point. This is the diagram of hub. Network interface card NIC. Network interface card are considered layer 2 device. It can be considered layer 2 device, any data link layer. Network interface card through throughout the world carries a unique code called a medium access control MAC address, which is 48 bit long, 24 is vendor specific, and 24 bit is specific to the NIC network interface card. This address controls data communication for the host on the link. NIC is controlled the access of the host to the medium. Bridges. A bridge is a layer 2 data link layer device designed to create two or more lane segments because if we have two or more segments of the lane, it is designed to each of which is separated collision domain. So the collision domain is decreased. In other words, bridge was designed to create more usable bandwidth. The purpose of bridge is to filter traffic on the lane to keep local traffic local yet allow connectivity to other port segment of the lane for traffic that is directed there. Every network device has a unique MAC address on the NIC. The bridge keeps track of which MAC address are on each side of the bridge and make forwarding direction decision based on the MAC address list. Bridges filter network traffic by looking only at the MAC address. Therefore, they, are, they can rapidly forward traffic representing any network layer protocol. 
bridges look only at MAC address. They are not concerned with the network layer protocol, which is third layer. Bridges are concerned only with passing or not passing frame based on their destination MAC address. Bridges are more intelligent than hub, but it's more intelligent than hub. Hub is a dumb device, but switches are intelligent device. That is, they can analyze incoming frame and forward or draft them based on addressing information. Based on the MAC address information, it can either forward or draft the information. Bridges collect and pass packet between two or more lane siblings. Bridges create more collision domain, allowing more than one device to transmit simultaneously without causing a collision. Bridge maintain MAC address table. example of bridge for example we have big lane here we have one segment here we have another segment and in between it is a bridge so it's the collision domain is divided into divide layer 2 switches layer 2 switches also called lane switches or work, work group switches often replace shared hub and work with existing cable infrastructure to ensure that the switches are installed with the minimal disruption of existing network like bridges, switches connect lane segments. It also functions to connect lane segments. Use a table of MAC address like bridge. It also maintains a MAC address to determine the segment on which a frame needs to be transmitted in reduced traffic. Switches operate at much higher speed than bridges, but one of the advantages of this is it is operate at much higher speed than bridges. Switches are data leaving their device that they like bridges let multiple physical lane segments be interconnected into single larger network. Similar to bridges, switches forward and flood traffic based on MAC address. MAC address means data link layer, second layer. Because switching is performed in hardware, it is significantly faster than switching function performed by a bridge using software. While bridging is using software, its switches perform using hardware. So it's it is faster this is the diagram of switch number third device we have got is router a router is a type of inter-networking device that passes data data packet between network based on your three network layer address a router can make decision regarding the best path for delivery of data on the network layer 3 allow the router to make decision based on network address instead of individual layer 2 make address. A router also can connect different layer 2 technologies such as Ethernet, token ring, fiber of distributed data interface, FDDI. A router also commonly connect asynchronous transfer mode, ATM and serial connections. However, because of their capability to route packet based on layer 3 information, router have become the backbone of internet and run the IP protocol, internet protocol. The purpose of a router is to examine incoming packet layer 3 data, choose the best path for them through the network and then switch them to the proper outgoing port. Routers are the most important traffic regulating device on large network. In large network we have router. A router lets virtually any type of computer communicate with any other computer anywhere in the world. This is the diagrammatic representation of Cisco router. That's it for today. See you in the next video.